All right, folks, if you're just joining us, breaking news on Speaker McCarthy getting out, so former Speaker McCarthy for now. Joining me now for more on today's landmark vote, a pair of former Georgia congressmen, Jack Kingston and Bob Barr. Um, you know, Congressman Kingston, the issue here is that there's a lot of unknowns. Um, and like we were talking about in the last panel, there's a lot of Republicans that are saying, hey, let's blow up business as usual. Do you think that's a good or bad thing? I, I think that's not a good thing in this case. You know, there's a political saying that you can't beat somebody with nobody and you can't destroy a system without having a new system. And what we haven't heard is where is their contract with America, so to speak? Where is there a basket of reforms that's going to balance the budget? And Carl, the reason why this is important is Bob and I were there when we actually did balance the budget. We went two years in a row with a balanced budget and we were paying down the debt. Um, but we did it because of the contract with America and other reforms that we had on reducing the size of government. And that's what Matt Gates and his friends are lacking. Yeah. Instead, they've gotten in bed with AOC and uh, Jamal and all these other folks and uh, political speaking, politically speaking, of course. Um, but uh, you, that's not replacing the system. That's just destroying the yeah. system. Well, but I mean, look, I think the Democrats took the opportunity to vote to, to throw chaos. They could potentially be blamed. on. I don't think they have any care and concern about who the speaker is on the Republican side. I think they just no. wanted to make chaos. But, Bob, in this whole same thing, I'm looking through my Twitter feed during the breaks here, and I'm not getting one supportive tweet for Kevin McCarthy out of hundreds and hundreds I, I'm starting to think that the American people and most of the Republicans in Congress might be on two different pages. Well, there are there certainly are two different pages here. Uh, there is the page that says that we want ideological purity. We want to be a debating society versus the other page that says we're a real party. We want to accomplish things for the American. But they're people. not accomplishing. And you and, well, we, you uh, accomplish uh, it by uh, having leadership such as we had with Newt Gingrich, you accomplish it by having a strategy such as uh, we had uh, with the contract with right. America and the plan that followed that, and you do it with following through on that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, uh, Matt Gates doesn't have a magic wand. He has uh, a fuse and he lights it. And sure, there are a lot of people that say, it's great, we gotta balance the budget, we gotta mm -hmm. cut the debt, but you don't do it without a strategy and a plan and leadership, and they don't have that. Yeah, well, I, I mean, Carl, I can't, yeah, yes, sir, go ahead. Well, I was, it, this is not an excuse, but just keep in mind that this is one half of one third of the U.S. government. And I would argue they actually have accomplished a lot. They've stopped a lot of the Biden agenda. They have refunded the police and pushed back on the defund movement. They have worked with Joe Manchin for energy permitting so that we can get our energy back. Mm -hmm. um, they, they've rebuilt the military. And, uh, and actually, all the stuff that we're hearing about Hunter Biden and the Biden corruption is only because Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans are the majority party. Um, so there are things that they have accomplished. But I would say this also to the they Matt haven't been Gates. made law. No, but they're fighting. And you, again, when you're only a, a half of one third, it is difficult, but they are fighting a good right. fight. Not making excuses, but I would say this to Matt Gates: You know, and I know where the money is, and it's in Social Security and Medicare and sure. military spending. Let's see Matt Gates put one of those bills on the floor. Yeah, and, well, and you won't find it because everybody will talk about national broadcasting, which I think ought to get it, get eliminated. But that's not where the big money is. No, I, I agree with that. And we actually addressed that last night, where I said, you know, raise the age to seventy, cut the the budget in half from one point two to six hundred billion. But uh, you know, this was an interesting one that caught my eye today. Bob just came across Twitter. Nancy Mace. Okay, she said today I voted for the motion to vacate and remove the speaker. This isn't about left versus right. This is about about ideology. This is about trust and keeping your word. This is about making Congress do their job. So what do you make of that? Well, what I make of it is I don't I have no idea what she's talking about. Matt Gates is running around saying, oh, Kevin McCarthy broke this promise and that promise. The fact of the matter is that Kevin McCarthy was elected as Speaker of the House for the American people, not for Matt Gates not for any one of the other Republicans. He is the Speaker of the House for the United States. Mm -hmm. And the Speaker of the House for the United States has a responsibility to accomplish things for the American people. So 
I may not be a fan of uh, Kevin McCarthy and everything that he votes for, everything that he supports, but uh, to put somebody in that job, as Matt Gates and the others did after 15 votes, which was sort of sowed the seeds of this uh, disaster mm -hmm. uh, back in January, uh, and then tie his hands to the degree that he can't function uh, is, one, it was, I think it was bad for McCarthy to allow himself to be put in that position, yeah. but for Matt Gates and this other uh, band of firebrands to do this, not just to the Republican Party, but to the American people, is the height of irresponsibility. Yeah, well, I, you know, I got I, I, I got to leave it there, Jones, but re real quick before I let you go on, my, my two cents of that is like, look, Kevin McCarthy did agree to terms in, in one case, which was one person could set off the vote to vacate the seat because he thought he was going to be able to hold the majority, and he did pay some lip service. He did do a lot of good things, but some lip service. That Bob Barr, Jack Kingston, we appreciate being here, sir. Thanks, Thanks Carl.